Hi, I'm Steve, and this is an intermediate guitar lesson of an aggressive, hard-driving guitar lick that can be used for rock and roll, blues, or a bunch of other genres. It's a turnaround lick that I play in the key of A and D right there, but you can play it really anywhere up and down the neck. To do this, I'm using a tone uh, that I built for the Fender Mustang GTX and GT Amplifier series called Crunch by Steve Guitar. You can download it for free here in the notes on this video along with a bunch of other tones that I've created. Uh, you can get them all for free here on my channel or on the Fender Connect community on their website or on the app. Be sure to subscribe now for more guitar lessons, tones, tips, and gear reviews like this one, and let's hop into it. All right, so this lick is in the key of A, and it's really divided into three parts. Uh, one, two, and three. We'll walk through those in a second. Uh, it also uh, really takes place, though, even though it's in the key of A, it takes place in D because it's a turnaround lick. It's as if you had this kind of rhythm going. So that's really where it kicks in right there. So that's the kind of rhythm and the kind of speed you've got going. And so when you put uh, this, when you get to that, just remember the second string on the 13th fret, that's really the one count of the beat right there. All right, so let's hop into step one here. We're gonna take our uh, second finger, slide it up to this D shape right there on the 10th fret. So uh, the finger is actually in the 11th fret and the first uh, finger is on the 10th fret of the first and second strings. So, okay. And then we're going to go uh, back to the 10th fret on the second string. And then we're going to do this little bend up trick here. Uh, classic on the, we're going to go to the 13th fret on the second string. I'm going to bend it up two notes, hit the first finger on the 10th fret on the first string. Uh, one and two hits on that. One, two hits on that. And then just one hit on that. So again, the whole pattern is. And now we're going to go right back to that spot on the 13th fret on the second string, but instead of bending up, we're going to walk it down. 13 on the second fret, 12, 10th fret, and then we're going to hit that those original two notes, um, 11th fret and third string. We're going to hit it twice like that. So. Like that. I do these shakeouts here, but uh, you don't really do those in real speed because you got to get to the next note too quick. So once again, and that takes us to part two. So for part two, we're going to hit uh, the 13th fret on the first string. We're going to bend it up two or even more frets. You don't want to go one, but just take it up two or three notes. And then we're going to go back down to the 10th fret on the first string. We're going to take our second finger and hit the 12th fret on the first string. And then we're going to do that walk down, that same walk down. Third, uh, third finger, 13th fret, second string. Walk down to the 12th, to the 10th fret. The same two notes right there. We're going to do them twice again. Again, the 11th fret on the third string and the 10th fret on the second string. We're going to do them twice. So again, it's... But instead of going up there, now we're going to take it to the 12th fret on the uh, second string. Give it about a one or two note bend. And then we're going to go back to the 10th fret on the first string. Now we're going to walk it up one fret, up to the 12th fret, and then we're going to take our first finger, we're going to have to get there to our first finger like that, way down there in the 8th fret. We're going to bend that up a little bit, and now we're ready for that last little lick. So for part three, we're going to take our finger, uh, first finger, we're right there, we're bending that up, and we're going to take our third finger and put it on the um, 10th fret on the second string, and we're going to pull it off, 
with that finger, first finger right there on the second string on the eighth fret. So it's, and we're gonna go the second finger or the third finger, it doesn't really matter. I usually do the second finger here. Back on the ninth fret and the third string, we're gonna go right back to the eighth fret on the second string. But now, instead of the second finger, I'm definitely taking the third finger and I'm putting that right there on the ninth fret and the third string. I'm doing that because I'm gonna slide it down to the seventh fret. So it's, and that gets me down here back into that sort of classic fifth fret, you know, minor pentatonic box right there. So again, we're gonna finish it off with that last lick. And you can keep going and going from there. All right, so that's it. I hope this was helpful. For more guitar lessons like this one and more tones for the Fender Mustang Amp series, uh, subscribe here on my YouTube channel at Steve Guitar, and I'll check you next time. See ya.